Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Mavix. Got another video for you guys today. Welcome to another video, data recovery, right? That's what you guys are here for, PCB repairs, MacBook repairs, or data recoveries. So you're probably really interested in that because we're going to be talking about today. It's a beautiful Tuesday. Well, it's not morning. It's so, like, the sky is just gray outside, so it's the afternoon. What is it? It's 1 o'clock. It's the 1st of August. So, 1st of another beautiful month, and we're continuing moving on and everyday stuff, trying to get things done, trying to move forward in our lives, right? And we're trying to do that while also trying to help other people retrieve their data. So, into the repair. We got this bag, and this is a mail-in, and it came like this. There's a USB, and then there's multiple heads. Uh, let's go on off with it. Is that what they call it? They want to call it the heads or just USB connector? We'll call it the heads, right? I always like to say these get guillotined, right? So there's a guillotine, so it looks like there's multiple heads on it, and... Here's the USB. So it looks like it's a broken USB, very clearly. And if I flip it over here, yeah, that's what you guys can see. If you look closely, oh man, that camera really picking up on that. Oh, oh I got excited with me in the background. Guess not. So we could see here, uh, maybe possible work has been done because that solder doesn't look natural. Maybe someone's uh, attempted to do repair or fix it itself, and that's probably why we get these uh, donor heads here. And there's, there's two of them. So we've got our two heads here. Uh, they're identical. Um, they're both nine pin heads. And I assume these are donor ones to help us out with the uh, data recovery. Now, we do have these uh, donor heads already in there. So it's always nice, though, if the customer wants to send us one, too. Now, the only thing is, I think, when they try to send you one that maybe there's been tempted to be worked on, right? Because they're like, I know what to do, but I just can't do it. Or I don't have the tools to do it. So I want you to do that for me. Now it depends really on the issue here. We so, but we have we have a clear instance of a broken, clearly damaged, clearly broken USB, and it looks like the plastic hasn't even been ripped off. This has been completely chopped here, as we can see here, right? It's been completely chopped, completely gone. I think it's better to go under the microscope, take a look at it, because there's no other casing to it. Um, we want to make sure there's no other damage to it. So let's go under there and let's take a look at it, and see what's going on. All right, so we have a USB, and we're taking a look at it. And uh, this looks like a uh, flex, uh, or at least solder. I don't really see it that much. There's really any flux there. But it looks like some solder work. Doesn't look like a natural solder, does it? Um, a good way to tell, too, if you look at that, the very, very bottom one, there's that little um, drop up. Like, let me show you guys. So the see here, so um, sometimes if you touch up the solder, right, or if you want to solder it, um, you will probably get a little dabble and then you'll lift up a little bit and then it will have more like a teardrop, right? So that's kind of what we're seeing here. So it looks like that this has been at least touched, right? Or at least attempted there. Now that's not good news, especially uh, you don't want to have a short or anything to it. Um, this one looks like they tried to remove the sides edges here for it, but nothing else looks impacted here. There's not, maybe there was enough heat. Maybe they just tried a solder gun. Maybe they try to hot iron and try to touch something. Uh, let's see. So what we want to do is uh, we can most likely just use this because we want to check it out. Uh, looks like that the USB that was given, the donor head was given. Hey, we can use that one or we can use our own. Either way. Looks like that that's good. These look to be pretty healthy. Um, and we could just pretty much recreate that. Now, it doesn't look like that there's any trace damage, right? So it looks like these are pad da uh, damage. And there's a, even a new little solder dot there because you can see how different it looks from the other one right so this looks like a fresh pad of solder I'm not sure why that is there but it's there so what we're gonna do is we are going to remove the old one and then put on the new one okay so we need to remove the old one and we're gonna be doing this we're just gonna be using some flux and we need to mix some solder here to help easily remove it then we get some hot air because it's so many pins there you want to do that otherwise we can just use use a hot iron and just kind of lift it a little bit because it'll do that but we're going to do it the right way, or you can do it whatever way you really want, however it makes it easier. So now we're going to touch these up, and this is going to loosen it a little bit more for the pins. It's going to make this very easy to remove when we put in the hot air. And you have to be a little bit careful because there's some plastic there, but uh, if we do it enough, it's just going to come and loosen up. That's all we really need to do, and it'll lift up, and we're not reusing the old head anyway, so it doesn't make too much of a big difference. So we did remove it there, and we just need to clean up some of the old solder that was there from before. So we can use some flux and help just remove this up. So this one has a pretty special shape on the side, and I had to mod it a little bit, as you can see there, um, because it actually wouldn't fit. The little wing tips actually wouldn't fit. So uh, what we can do is we just need to be really delicate with it. 
Um, but it's really strange that this one was a very, very unique one. But what I can do for this is I can just solder it pretty much like this here. And um, I think that should be good enough to do it, right? Okay, so let's put back on the new one. And we're just going to rebuild pretty much the connections. Now, uh, since this has a lot of pins anyway, it's going to hold pretty well. So I want to make sure it's going to hold even better so it doesn't break off. So to make for more stability, I'm going to go one on each end here. So it'll be easier for me to uh, solder it. And it won't be wobbly, right? And you want to make sure this is straight. So once I get each side in there, I'm just going to go ahead and touch up the rest of the pins, make sure it connects, add a bit of solder, make sure it's very sturdy, make sure it's very, very nice here. So I want to make sure because it's even a little bit lifted, it's not perfect because those hips on the side really do matter for it to hold in a bit more. And I really wish that was the case for that. But now we just have to be extra careful for that because you don't want to do anything possibly short of controller or do anything else crazy. This I just need to be a little bit more careful, make sure the solder is very, very good here and there's not going to be any issues. So we're just going to be, go ahead and touch it up, make sure it's all nice. Oh, it looks so nice. Let me do that. Uh, clean it up, use some alcohol, make sure it's very sturdy. And really, that should be about it there. Controller looks good too. Doesn't seem to be any other problems. So let's go ahead and test it. Okay, so here's the finished product there. We just double down a little bit more on the, on the solder. Because I wasn't super happy with it a little bit before, but now it looks really good. These pins there, it's actually holding very, very well, even though the hips are gone. We're called the hips. Because hips don't lie. So it's not connected there. So we still need to be a little bit careful. So let's go ahead and plug it in, see if it works. Okay, so we have it here. Looks good. Let's go ahead and plug it in. I don't think it likes my USB connection. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in here. Okay, so we go to our screen capture here, and we do see a USB drive. This is fantastic. Let it come up there, and it's about 60 gigs, and we do see some data. There's a little bit of folders here, and yeah, looks to be good. We're able to get the data. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video on doing the data recovery for um, the multi-pin, 10-pin USB. If you did, please do like. It really does help us a lot. Uh, subscribe for more content. We do lots of data recoveries, do liquid spill repairs, boil level repairs, uh, micro soldering, anything you can really think of. Go ahead and check it out. We have lots of videos. I think we're, how many videos we have now? I know we have like over 300. I don't know for 400. I don't know. We have a lot, though, at least making this video. So hope you guys enjoyed. Check out all those videos and see you guys next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.